Hello everyone, it's so crazy what we have done here in the desert and how much we have transformed it and Wow, just right now a wandering trader spawned behind us. What is this one offering here? Okay, we got some lily pads. We got what a bucket of puffer fish. Okay, there's not really much that we really need from here And I don't think I need those llamas anymore plus we have like at least six leads, but hey, it's cool Maybe I will later grab some of the leads. Let's see and yeah, I have some news guys. So here is our latest build the cow crusher and I've actually decided to add a second one so we can get even more leather and steak all right guys let me show you how the cow crusher works so here we have our cows inside and if we feed the cows and they start breeding the adult cows they will start dying and once they die whatever they are dropping gets into that chest so let's see we got some leather here and we're getting a lot of beef so yeah in my opinion this is one of the best farms you can have and if you guys want to know how to build the cow crusher we made an episode on that it's on this channel and if you guys are new to this channel please don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more content yeah let's get to our latest build the library i've actually what the heck there's an enderman why is there suddenly an enderman i've actually um continued building on that and we have to actually put some windows in i've just noticed yeah so this building is almost done on the outside for the most part it doesn't have windows yet a cat can just walk in and out this is really really great if we have some fish i'm going to actually tame this one i don't think we have this cat yeah right yeah we don't have it let's see if we find some fish if not then we just can't i guess no fish Ah, no fish. Mm. I want this cat. Uh, there's, yo, there's a river, right? Let's see if we can quickly get some fish and we can get the Garfield cat. I think this one looks really, really nice. But we have to be lucky now to see if there's any fish that has spawned here. And there's a ravine. We have to be careful. I need some fish. Is there any fish here, please? Oh, no. No fish? No way. I need fish. There's some some squids here or something, right? But no fish. Why is there no fish? That's weird. There should be fish. Uh, maybe you have to go deeper. No fish. No fish. That's strange. What is going on here? Yo, this goes very, very deep here. I will try the other lake and... Oh, there's fish, there's fish. And it's almost night. I have to be super quick. But if we are diving... Yeah, we can speed things up a little. Ah. Why are they not dying? Keep hitting them. How much do we have? We have five fish okay five fish i will just try my luck i don't want stuff to spawn let's quickly sleep in one of those buildings and five fish it's a small chance but hey i'll take it if we manage to tame the garfield cat then we have another breed what actually happens if you mix breeds like it would be cool if you could actually breed uh, hybrid cats but unfortunately it's probably not going to work um where's the bed okay i think this building yeah this one has some Let's go upstairs and sleep. I actually think those builds that we worked on actually they turned out pretty well. What do you guys think? I think they look really nice. I hope the cat is still there because we did uh, go pretty far from the village. So if you have a certain distance from stuff, like it can despawn. This is the same with like illagers. If illagers spawn and you get far away enough, they despawn. I hope the cat did not despawn. Where's the Garfield cat? Are you kidding me? No way, it's no more there? Or is it inside that building? Uh. Okay, too bad it, it disappeared, I believe. Unless it's here, is it here? Yeah, where's the cat? Ah, uh, this spot, but anyway, so, so this is going to be our library. And to make this look even more welcoming here when we enter, I'm going to place a carpet here. This time we are going for red. I don't need this torch. 
And in this corner here, very, very important. So at this window, let's actually place the glass in here too. There will be a double lecture like this. And all the way around this, there will be bookshelves. They will be also under the window. They will come out like this. Here it will be a bit higher, just like that. And we're going to do the same on this side. Two lectures next to each other. I have bookshelves come out here. And we unfortunately ran out of bookshelves, but every corner will look kind of like this. So the windows, they will be three, but where we enter, there will be at least two, maybe even three blocks of height with bookshelves. And let me place some torches here, it's quite dark. And yeah, it's actually good that we have two cow crushers, and one of the reasons why I had to get a second one is because I will need a lot of bookshelves. Like, we're going to need at least one and a half stack for this building of bookshelves, maybe even more. And with those windows in, this building should actually look more interesting. Oh yeah, it looks way better now. But yeah, as you guys can see, I've been really, really, really busy also fixing the second floor and... What I've decided to do is, so we have enough beds. So the downstairs area will be purely for the librarians and with bookshelves. And I will turn the ups upstairs area to... Maybe I will actually do some room separation and have like two small bedrooms and maybe some sort of... I don't know if I make this also a library or if I make this some kind of bigger living room. But I will definitely have upstairs also at least two small bedrooms, maybe in those rooms. And oh wow, we actually ran out of glass. Let's see if we have some more sand left. If not, we are in the desert, it's easy to get sand. Yo, what's up with that iron golem? Why the heck is he spinning like that? What is going on? Are you okay, dude? Like you were spinning like crazy. Is that because of that trap door? What actually happens if I put this one down? Nothing happens. I thought this would trigger him spinning. Oh, he stopped spinning for now. That's good. Are we making any glass? No. Okay, I need... S I think six is enough. Ooh. Okay. Um, Just some more slabs, just in case. Is there many more slabs? Yeah, we have to wait a bit. I will look for the cat and see if I find it again. And I hope I do because it's nice. I actually love this Garfield uh, looking cat, the orange one. It's a very beautiful breed. It could be in our cave. I don't see it though. If not, we have to wait for it to respawn. Ah. I should always have some spare fish. Like, I've learned a lesson now that... It's very important to have spare stuff of whatever you sometimes need. Is a cat here? No. Yeah, we were too far. I, I'm sure of it. Like, we were too far. Because we were, like, diving also a bit. Got pretty deep. So that's how it despawned, most likely. Wait a second. We have two iron golems. We just had one. So one is here. And there's the second one. Hey, look! This actually works. So it was a good idea with the trapdoor. Like, if the iron golem is not taking any damage from the berry bushes. So we protected this by putting trapdoors around. And ever since I've done this, I've not seen anything take any damage here. Including iron golems. So we actually don't need to put something on the top of it. Just like this is fine. That's great. Alright, the glass should be ready. It is. So let's finish the windows. And let's also get some furniture. For furniture this time... Um, should we go with Akakia again? I kind of like Akakia because it has this warm color, right? But what we also could do is oak. I think oak is also not too bad thinking now now I will actually stick to a cake here yeah, because I love the, the the warm feeling I get from this wood 
Okay, let's store the stuff we don't need. I don't need this right now. Now we need a bit of fence. And tablecloth color. I guess we can't go wrong with yellow. Yellow carpet, yellow carpet. We only have one left. No, two, four, oh, six. Oh, this is way enough. All right, let's go in and add a sitting area. First the windows. I think upstairs there were just like three windows missing, right? No. Oh, it's four. Okay, never mind. It's four windows. One, two, three, four. Okay, perfect. Now downstairs the sitting area. So, should we have... Let me think. Okay, this corner will be a sitting area. It will be a bigger one. It's going... Going by... Oh, does it feel too... Nah, it feels too tight, this spot here. Wait, let's just make it um, double seats. Right, let's place the fence on and then the tablecloth on top. Okay, this is the first sitting area. The second sitting area will be... I would not make it super sy symmetrical. Like, I want the corners to have like a little bit of difference. So there will be another sitting area here. And this time it will be triple seats. Yeah, triple seats are fine here. We have enough space. We could add something cool like a painting here. And I think that's what we're gonna do now. Let's get a painting. And I've already started leveling up um, another toolsmith. So what I'm always doing is... Because we have like a tree farm, so we have like a infinite amount of emeralds. I'm just going to buy some, some cheap junk. And just like now, this one is actually leveling up. Let's see if he has a better offer now. What does he have? Whoa, that's an upgrade. We have fortune one and this one has now actually fortune two. Right, I'm taking it. I don't need this one anymore. So that's good. We're actually getting more sand blocks. That That's good. We can make like some kind of sand farm with this actually. But 19, that's quite expensive. So yeah, we're, we're still just going for the cheap trade. Because I think fortune actually is, 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 is pretty expensive in general if you get something with fortune. Even if it's iron. Uh, I, I don't want to walk over that. I don't want to get this. And yeah, let's make a painting quickly. We need more sticks though. Let's get some st sticks. And I will make three paint. No, two paintings should be enough. Yeah, the cat is gone, guys. I'm sorry. Now we need some placeholder here, some dirt. So we can have the right size. So. Oh, wait, there's a carpet that also counts, right? Okay, so here we have Caesar burning in hell as a painting. That's fine. We could also add here a painting. Oh, that's cool. So here we have the wither and we here we have Caesar. I kind of I kind of like how this corner looks. I'm going to replace those torches, of course, with lanterns over time. And I'm going to grab some more iron. We did spend some on our latest farm, so... About this corner, should we turn this into a bookshelf one or also a sitting one? I kind of feel like this is uncomfortable because, like, nobody really wants to sit under stairs like that. Like, you're gonna hit your head or something if you get up, right? So this corner will be with bookshelves. Here I'm thinking we could add an enchanting table or something here. Should we do that? Or should we have one in the palace? Like, let me know in the comment section, guys, if you want here an enchanting table to be, or maybe even upstairs or in, at the palace. I'm actually tending to add this to the palace. Oh, it's so beautiful. Like, look at the moon. I actually love the way it looks when the moon rises in the desert. It looks just so epic here. Like, look at this in our latest build. But let's quickly sleep before stuff spawns. We do have some nice guards here. And they're doing their job just fine, but 
I don't want to take risks. I hate taking risks. All right. Let's check on the sugar cane because I need some more sugar cane and for the next episode I thought about actually going where was this there was someone as a Leah tree as well I think it was on this side I actually think about like discovering some lush cave and there's another as a Leah tree what the heck oh it's almost ready guys now I need to make a big jump okay yeah, some have not grown back up to three blocks, but it's enough for now. It's going to give us another seven, eight bookshelves. Maybe we can finish this one corner. And I'm quickly going to check and see if there's a cave or something under this uh, azalea tree. We do have two azalea trees here as well, but last time we checked and we found nothing. So I want to try this side. Maybe this side is actually better. Because here there was nothing. I've checked. Also checked here. Wait a second. What's this sound? I'm hearing something. Is there an entrance? Okay, screw this. I'm actually going to also check here. Because I hear a lot of skeletons. And... I really want to find a skeleton spawner if it's possible. Oh, this is perfect. Now I'm going to... Is it night? No, it's not night yet. Oh, ho, ho, ho. this sounds very dangerous. Oh, you're kidding me. There's a creeper. Oh, they're fighting against each other. I actually love when this happens. When, like, two skeletons are going at each other. Who will win? What do you guys think? The guy on my side or this one? I actually think the... Ah, I was about to say. <laughs> the one on my side is going to win. I would, I would have lost that bet. Ah. No skeleton spawner. Ah, uh, what a disappointment. What's here, though? Here's so many caves, but they're kind of small. There's some coal. I'm going to grab some. Uh, if only I could find a skeleton spawner. Like, I need a lot of bone meal. We're in the freaking desert. Like, I, I'm almost about to say, oh, this is, like, freaking essential to have some... <laughs> So bone meal here like an infinite amount so I can even grow stuff here, right? Hmm, there seems to be no connection or anything with a lush cave. You would have to dig very, very deep probably. I mean I can I can try to dig a little deeper and see. So So the Azalea tree is coordinates wise. I think somewhere here it would be, right? So let's see, we're gonna dig down a bit. In a spiral shape and there's a water cave oh great so it's like pointless to further dig wait there's another well i i didn't know there was another well there and there's another azalea tree L let me actually scout the area so what do we have so we have here azalea tree we have here one that's growing underwater that's so unrealistic we have one here, and there seems to be some kind of cave entrance, one here, and there's another well. I actually have not really checked this area as well, so... We are not having checked this area and this one, so we have still two directions we could go to, to explore new land. And... Is there another azalea tree? You're kidding me. How many lush caves are here? <laughs> but I want an easy lush cave, where... I just actually dig a little and there's like this giant uh, tunnel or something that leads to it. Because otherwise we'll be digging for hours to find something. Aha! Uh -huh. 
I have a good feeling about this. Let, let me actually dig for a bit here. I want to see if we actually do find something cool here. Because it's not so close to the sea. And even better, there's an actual entrance here. Alright, let's see, let's see. I think we are almost under it. We have to probably go a little right, like here, and more down. Oh, we're getting a lot of sandstone. It's also good. But I don't see any lush cave thingy here or something. Okay, we have reached the stone ground now. What does it say? It only says desert. Yeah, I don't see any lush cave here or anything. Yeah, I'm pretty much almost done here. Uh, right, let's let's get some more torches. And then let's just leave. Too bad, too bad. Again, I, I will have to dig for ages to find anything. But I think like getting sandstone is actually not so hard. Some people think that getting sandstone is quite a challenge. I don't find it hard at all. Like not only can you if you wanted to turn a freaking sand into a sandstone. But also if you're not digging too deep and you're just like maybe digging down, like 10 blocks or something. And then you're going like a straight line. You're going to get like so many stacks of sandstone. Like sure it's still easier to get cobblestone because it's probably like the most common block in, in Minecraft, right? Okay, so we don't get lost. I think we have to go this way. Back to our kingdom. Let's let's see if we find the cat again or if it's des despawned or respawned or whatever. Let's see. But I like this area because we have so many caves and this also gives us a lot of options for like uh, cave adventures and we even got some freaking magma blocks here and stuff. I actually hate um, going... wait. Yo, there's a drowned. What the heck? Ah, Drowned! You have any cool drop? Oh, he dropped nothing. Do we have still fish? No, we don't have fish. No, my inventory is full. Uh, need more fish. We only have five. The chance is, is low with five. I think the, the best chance is once you have like at least 12 fish or more. Because it's, it's very seldom that you need more than 12 fish to tame a single cat. In my experience, it can be like six, seven fish sometimes. Sometimes eight maybe. Depends. But I seldom need over ten. Or maybe I'm just lucky. Alright, let's store some of the things we don't need. Alright, let's play some more red carpet and let's call it a day. And look, the first villager is already exploring the new library. Maybe we should actually put a bell into the library. That would be also cool. So I'm thinking, should we have a carpet here like that? You guys think this looks better? Actually, I kind of like this with the carpet. Yo, let's actually have it like that. So where the lecture is, there will be a carpet. And upstairs, there will be some red carpet as well. Like this. Nice. Now here I'm not going to probably place any carpet because there will be the bed and... Wait, how do I make this? Like a double bed each room or something? Or like a single bed in each corner? I want to have at least 10 librarians though, so... Maybe we need to turn this into a bedroom as well. 
So two beds here, that's like four. Here a double bed, six, eight, ten. All right, we do it like that. So here a double bed, here a double bed, here there are like two single beds. So we have ten librarians. Yeah, let's make it ten librarians. Then we have two lectures here. You're going to probably add there another double lecture, maybe in this corner or something. I will figure something out, but we will have 10 librarians so we can get all the enchantments. Like that's the plan. I want to have the highest fortune possible. I want to have silk touch, mending. I want to have the highest sharpness. And I'm going to reset um, the villagers all the time for this. And I want the highest unbreaking as well. But silk touch, mending, fortune, efficiency, sharpness, and unbreaking. They are going to be very uh, important for us. At least those six enchantments. Oh, and yeah, let me guys show you that actually. So, like I've said the other day, there was another wandering trader. And I got this, this cream-colored um, llama. And I got... Uh, a snow snow style kind of like this white grayish one no wait which one was it are they the same or is it just the shade that makes them look different i think there's just one white one right like this one okay good oh i actually want to breed the white one do we have enough ah, i don't have enough hey i have to do it tonight but i actually want to get more of the white uh, llamas because i think they look really nice I don't have like a big group of those. But yeah guys, that's it for today's episode. If you guys are new to this channel, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more content. And if you guys enjoyed this episode, please don't forget to give this one a thumbs up. I wish everyone a wonderful day. I will see you guys next time.